Hi everyone. So I've actually already done a video on tapping, um, but I've decided to redo it because I watched it back and I just made no sense and I just found it mega confusing. So I'm slightly more prepared this time. So what I want to talk about is EFT tapping. So EFT stands for Emotional Freedom Technique. Um, and tapping is basically a new, new-ish therapy that was designed actually for post-traumatic stress disorder and for people who deal with chronic pain. And the idea is, is that um, there are these eight meridian points in our body or hotspots. And if you tap on these areas, you can balance your energy and um, just get some relief from physical or emotional pain. Again, it's one of those alternative therapies and there's no hardcore evidence for it at the moment. But as I always say to people, when you have anxiety and you've tried kind of the, the standard, you know, uh, going on antidepressants or therapy, CBT, sometimes you've got to kind of expand just to more different things and give everything a go. I always say that. I think when you want to recover from your anxiety, it's never just going to be one thing that cures you like that. It's about creating a toolkit and trying different things and thinking, oh, I can get some benefit from that. I'm going to do more of that. Or actually, this doesn't help me, so I'm not going to do that again. Um, so tapping is something that I found out about, I think, about six months ago. And I'd heard about it, didn't really give it much attention. Um, but I've been doing it now consistently for maybe the last two weeks. And whether it's psychosomatic or not, I definitely feel slightly more calm after doing it and again it doesn't, it doesn't matter if it's genuinely working or not the point is is that I'm feeling better for it so it's something that I'm gonna stick with so the the part of the body that is used with tapping is the side of the hand the eyebrow the side of the eye under the eye uh under the nose or on top of the lip uh your chin your collarbone side of arm and the top of your head so those are the eight kind of hot spots that um that you you tap on where with this uh, therapy and what you want to do first and foremost is you want to kind of sit there and set an agenda or a focus point so for me for example um the kind of focus point that i've been using for the last couple of days is that I'm having a bit of anxiety at the moment over some abnormal ECGs, um, so I'm a bit worried about my heart um, and I have to wait um, basically now until they're able to see the specialist. So I've kind of been saying to myself, right, okay, I'm feeling really anxious about my heart. Um, those abnormal ECGs are making me feel really uncomfortable and um, the wait to see the specialist is bothering me. So what you want to do then is once you've got your agenda, you want to just create like a reminder phrase because you don't want to be saying that whole long sentence over and over again. So for me, for example, I, my reminder phrase could be my heart, uh, my test results, um, abnormal, um, my anxiety, whatever it is, just something that will um, bring you back to your agenda. So I'm going to use the, um, the phrase my anxiety because I want to use that as my focus point. So where I've read about EFT online, it says that you should tap on the area of the body seven times each. I'm not very good at multitasking. So when I'm speaking and tapping at the same time, I can't count. So I um, I don't actually do that. I just kind of go through it, what feels normal to me. And I don't really think it matters anyway. So I'm going to do mine now to kind of demonstrate to you what tapping um looks like so uh you start with the, the the kind of they call it the karate chop so the side of the uh hand and you want to use the same hand to tap all of the areas of the body so you would just do something like my anxiety 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 side of eye my anxiety my anxiety my anxiety my anxiety under your eye my anxiety, my anxiety, my anxiety, my anxiety, under your nose. My anxiety, my anxiety, my anxiety, my anxiety. Chin, my anxiety, my anxiety, my anxiety, my anxiety. Collarbone, my anxiety, my anxiety, my anxiety, my anxiety. And your arm, side of arm. My anxiety, my anxiety, my anxiety, my anxiety. Top of your head. My anxiety, my anxiety, my anxiety, my anxiety. 
and essentially the way I do it is I just do that and I just do it a few times kind of um I just go through it um there's definitely better videos at explaining that, that I've just done just type in um EFT tapping or tapping technique onto YouTube and there are people that will explain the body parts a lot better than I ever could um and yeah essentially that's what you do you just pick an agenda you create a reminder phrase and you go through the tapping I like I said don't follow it completely um I don't count seven times or anything like that though I I just don't really think it matters and the idea is, is that the more that you do it, you are able to release kind of any emotion or tension. Um, it is one of those alternative therapies, as I said, you know, there are some people that will just think, oh, that's ridiculous. Um, but I'm kind of of the notion of why not try everything? When it comes to anxiety, it's really bloody stubborn. And sometimes it's more of a lifestyle change that needs to happen rather than just kind of, you know, taking some tablets and expecting to go away. It's right. What can I do? What can I put into my day? What can I, what can I implement that I know helps me? And it's about doing that every single day, even when you don't want to and having that self discipline and the motivation as well. You know, when we're, when we're down, you know, it's very difficult to think, right, okay, I've got to do my tapping, I've got to do my gratitude list, I've got to do my meditation, I've got to do my Wim Hof breathing, like, it can be quite overwhelming, and sometimes all we want to do is sit there with our anxiety, and that's not actually us wanting to do that, that's our anxiety, our anxiety wants our attention, it wants us to sit there, and it wants to be heard, um, and then, of course, for people with health anxiety, what happens then is we sit there, we get more anxious and we go through the vicious circle of then when we Google, uh, we start getting bodily sensations and then it just goes round and round and round in one big loop, which is just not helpful. So it's essentially about breaking down our just well worn down tracks, those habits that are ingrained in us um, that are really difficult to get out of. But definitely the more you kind of implement these changes to your life the easier it becomes it really does like and I, I'm like I'm like naturally a very lazy person like I don't I don't like exercise I don't really enjoy tidy in my house like I'm just quite a lazy person so I know that if I can motivate myself to make changes and I know that you definitely can it just does take time anyway like I said YouTube it um type it into Google whatever there's loads of people there's even people uh, there's even pages on Instagram that um talk about tapping there's an app as well that you can get so just give it a go you never know you might feel better after doing it and stick with it because um the first time i did it i was like what the hell is this do it a couple of times try and do it in the morning in the evening um so you're doing it twice a day and just see if you notice a difference because what have you got to lose anyways i hope you have had a nice christmas and let's hope that 2021 is uh, a bit less crazy see ya